The Witcher 1. Geralt has lost his entire memory. He doesn't know where Yennefer is, he doesn't know where Ciri is, doesn't even know who they are. But what he does know is that some of his closest friends are still at Kaer Morhen, which is where he ends up. He's got people there to support him, like Vesemir, which is his father figure. He's got Dandelion, he's got Zoltan, he's got, and, and he's also got the Sorceress Triss, Merigold. Now, in Yennefer's absence, Triss decides to take advantage of Geralt's lack of memory and actually starts a relationship with him. So, while Yennefer is gone and Geralt can't remember anything, Triss just moves in. She, she hops on that bandwagon of Geralt. And I'm pretty sure that if, well, you, you will see in the game that when Geralt meant is, well, whenever anyone talks about it, he always feels bad because, well, he couldn't do anything. He didn't remember he had a relationship before Triss, so he has, he has a relationship with Triss. The first game consisted of th those two teaming up and tracking down an anarchist group called the Salamanders who were just aiming to use the Witcher potions to make evil. Now we go on to the second game here, The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. And due to having no memory, Triss and Geralt's relationship has, has advanced far, far down the line. Base, base 3 has been covered by them. So, Geralt, it's called The Assassins of Kings because guess what? Kings get killed in this game. Geralt has actually teamed up with the Temerian King. Well, he hasn't teamed up, but he's, he's, his services have been bought by the Temerian King for him to be a monster. Well, ju just a sword in battle for him. So, whilst Geralt and King Faltest of Temeria uh, together, they take over many lands, they're bringing peace to the north, until Faltest's throat is slit, and Geralt is accused for it. Now, Geralt, the entire game is Geralt tracking down the real killer of Faltest and trying to clear his name and it turns out that the real killer is someone called Letho. Letho of Gullet. He's another witcher. Except he doesn't have feelings like Geralt. So you can under so at the end of the game there was the choice to kill or spare Letho. But by the end of the game, so much has happened that whether you kill Letho or not it really doesn't matter because there's more important things at hand. So, personally, I would choose not to kill Letho. Because, honestly, there's more, there's more important stuff going on. You, you can't be focusing on just one man. So, that is where the second game basically ends. Now, The Witcher 3 is going to see Geralt regained... Geralt will have fully regained his memory. He's going to be fully rejuvenated and he's going to be on a mission. And his mission is going to be to find Yennefer. He wants to find Yennefer and he wants to find Ciri. He wants to get them safe and sound. And he wants to ensure that they can't be hurt. He knows that the Wild Hunter are after Ciri and he wants to stop them. He knows that Yennefer is missing and he wants to find her. Along the way, he's going to meet all of his friends. You know, he's going to he's going to meet Dandelion, who's a bard, meet Zoltan, who's a dwarf, etc. You know, he's going to be able to have allies to rely on. Now, we're going to play this, and it's going to it's going to be a long game, just to say the least. I've left quite a bit out of this entire explanation of the Witcher universe. I've left out stuff like I've left I've left out in-depth explanations of who Triss is, of who Dandelion is. It'll come up in the game, and more, you'll understand more if you watch. But we're going to play from here. If you want to find out more, other YouTube videos and the Witcher Wikipedia are there for you. But I've covered all. I've covered all I think you will need to know to watch my playthrough. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and yes, I did just clap my hands. <sighs> hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it, because guess what's going to be coming up next? 
hopefully by the time you've watched this i'll have done some more episodes of the witcher being the first second and third etc and i'm going to be playing the hell out of it because it's it's amazing it's going to be a long game so i hope you'll stick around with me